Hey everyone, Kelly Curtis here, your dietetic intern, and today I am happy to give you a quick little segment on meal prepping. So everyone's kind of heard of meal prepping, some people do it, some people don't really know what it's all about, some people tried it but didn't really feel it was for them. So I'm just going to give you some quick steps to try to make the process a little easier, take a little stress from it, and hopefully you will give it a try. So first thing is meal prepping can be and is a great way to stick to a healthy, nourishing, real food plan. That's right. It helps you stick to your plan. So it is also going to help you save money. It's going to help reduce stress during mealtime, which I know for some families can be extremely hectic. And it's going to cut out some food waste, and it's going to add variety into your diet. So first thing that you are going to want to do, number one on the list, is plan. We have to plan when we meal prep. If you are new to meal prepping, start small. Maybe you only plan two days. Maybe you want to do three. If you are not new to meal prepping and you've been doing this for a while, feel free by all means. Plan out your week, plan out your month, whatever works for you. So you're going to plan out your meals. Number two on the list is then you have to make your grocery list. So you will take your plan that you made, look at all of your meals, and then you're going to make your grocery list out of that. So I know some people really like to break down their grocery list and you can break it into categories of the grocery store and then that way when you go into the grocery store you know exactly which departments you need to hit and exactly what you need to get. If that doesn't work for you, totally fine. You just make a grocery list. List out everything that you need off of your meal plan. Good tip to remember is never go to the grocery store hungry. That is going to throw you off of your plan. So make sure that you do not have a hungry belly when you go to the grocery store. Number three on the list, make sure you have some good quality containers so that after you cook and prep all your food, you'll be able to store it. I would advise using glass. I feel glass is best. Just make sure that you have access to quality containers you can store your food in. Number four on the list is to pick the day that works best for you to be in the kitchen. So maybe Tuesday is your day of the week where you know you can spend some time in the kitchen. Maybe it's Sunday. And every week doesn't have to be the same day. Don't be afraid to change your day. Do what fits in your schedule but you have to plan and you have to put it in your schedule so that you can prep and have time to make all those meals. Number five on the list, before you start to cook, get all of the things you need ready. So get all of your baking ware, you need baking dishes or sheets, cookie sheets, get all of those out and ready to go. Get your utensils, so whatever, if you're going to need a spatula or a whisk, whatever you're going to need, have those ready. Get out all your spices. Spices, um, oils, have those ready. Get out any measuring utensils you're going to need, measuring cups, measuring spoons. And then make sure that you have your recipes easily accessible to you so that you're not fumbling around in the kitchen in the middle of your meal prep. Number six on the list is make your meals interesting, right? Pick some foods that maybe you've always wanted to try. Try some new recipes. Maybe cook something that you've always wanted to cook but have been a little bit afraid to do. Don't be afraid to add variety into your weekly diet, into your weekly meal plan. Get a little crazy. <laughs> Number seven on the list is once your items are all cooked and baked, you are now going to portion them and put them in your containers that you had ready and sitting out for you. So you're gonna portion out all of your meals, put them in their containers, pop the lids on them, 
and throw them in the refrigerator. So seven quick, simple steps. Number one, plan, plan the meals. Number two, make your grocery list. Number three, have your containers, quality containers. Number four, pick a day, the day that's best for you. Number five, when you start to cook, have everything out and ready to go. Number six, make your meals interesting. Number seven, portion out and place in the fridge. And just remember, meal planning isn't any different than any other habit. So if you're new to this, start small and continue to build. And as you gain confidence, it'll just become a habit. So happy cooking in the kitchen and I will see you next time.